for the camera to focus on me. Oh, it's probably not helping, is it? Hey guys, um, I'm back. I was out of town for what feels like forever. I'm back, I'm in my happy place, I'm in my studio. I've got all my art supplies and I'm so happy. Like I love my space. Um, it's just, I'm, I'll have to do a little tour sometime, but it's just like this conglomeration of things from around the house um, that gradually have been brought together to make my little space where I create and work on orders and film videos and all of that fun stuff. So right now um, I'm just um, painting just for fun. I mean, I'm not painting for um, commercial purposes or for client work or anything. I'm just painting because I felt like it. Um, I haven't painted in a while and I just wanted to take a moment to pick that back up and get back into it. And oh my gosh, the camera cannot freaking find my face. I'm gonna try angle myself differently here. There we go. All right, that's better. Sorry I was so dark there for a minute. Um, I think it's struggling with the light in my window back there, which is gorgeous. Um, but it's not doing me any favors over here in this corner. Anyways, I've just been painting. I'm doing did a couple little just fall like super simple fall um, sketches just of some like cozy things. Fall's my favorite season, and I'm already getting ready for it with my illustrations for the shop because the shop is going to be reopening this weekend. In fact, by the time this uh, video is up, the shop will. I need to get better at looking at the lens. Not used to this. The shop will be reopen this weekend, Friday at 5.30, um, but when by the time this video is posted, um, it will have already happened. I submitted some designs to my manufacturer for new washi tape, which I'm really excited about. I have two new washi tapes releasing this week, and then I have six different washi tapes that should be on their way to me in the mail tomorrow. I'm really excited about those. Um, I've kind of dipped my toe into the washi world um, of creating washi and like using foil on washi and all that fun stuff and now I'm addicted. So um, expect to see a lot more washi tape from me. Um, and I designed this whole fall collection which I haven't shown anyone yet. I'm going to keep it under tabs as much as possible. I might show a little sneak peek here on YouTube because I know a lot of my consumers don't watch me on YouTube yet, so maybe those of you that do will get a little sneak peek, but um, I had to make a couple of changes to those files today for the fall washi tape. There's going to be four tapes, and we should be good to go. We should be able to start production starting tonight when my manufacturers are able to get back to me, and we can get that process going. I'm thinking about doing a fall enamel pin, um, but I can't. I can't decide. Enamel pins are a really big investment. Um, you have to pay a mold fee every time you create a new pin, um, and that's just for them to create like the cast that um, is the shape of your pin, and then they use that to make all future pins. So you have to pay that fee and then you pay per pin after that, and then on top of that, you pay for shipping to the United States because there are no, fun fact, there are no enamel pin manufacturers in the United States. Um, in fact, the only ones I know of are located in Asia. And if you find someone in the United States who is selling enamel pins, that I'm 99% positive that they're a middleman. They are taking your designs and then sending them to their manufacturer overseas and then passing it back on to you. So they're basically negotiating for your pins on your behalf and then taking a cut off of that. So, um, fortunately I've been able to find a really good manufacturer that, um, 
so far has done a really good job for me so I don't have to pay that middleman fee but um, it's hard to know what to order because I never know what's going to do well and what isn't. So that is one of the challenges as a creative and a small business owner is what do you invest your time and your energy and your money into um, that you're going to see a return on. So some things I literally list just for fun, um, just because I really want to. Um, and then other times I need to be careful about the decisions that I'm making. So that's one I'm kind of debating um, on. I might do a poll on Instagram to see what people think, but then I would have to reveal part of what the fall collection is going to be. So I'm still thinking about that. But anyways, um, I'm going to get back to painting. I've got my back to school illustrations all ready to go, and those are going to be releasing this weekend. And I'm excited for that also. And I will see you in the video as I'm working on my studio vlog. Thursday and um, I've just been working on some more artwork today. I probably should have filmed myself doing it because I feel like all I ever am able to film is when I'm doing stuff on the computer or administrative stuff or cutting. Um, but yeah, I have been doing some illustrating. I think I captured a little bit of it last night. Um, there's a project that I've been wanting to do that I finally started. Um, I wanted to create um, a digital download that I could offer in my shop for really inexpensive for downloads for wallpapers for phones and iPads potentially desktop screens although maybe not this first round we'll see if it's something that people are interested in but um, a really inexpensive like one dollar for um, a couple different versions of a digital download like phone wallpaper for that month and I was going to do it using my character um, Primrose and this is one that I printed out so I drew her last night on my iPad actually I drew her first in my sketchbook then went in and did a more finished version of it on my iPad and I liked it so much that I printed off a black and white version and colored it in with Copics because I just I love using Copic markers. They're one of my favorite art mediums. Anyways, I wanted to do that, but then it was so cute and I thought, oh, this would be so adorable as like a monthly, the monthly divider page in a bullet journal. So I went ahead and tried it out and she just looks so cute in there and she's probably going to show it backwards for you. I'm not sure, but um, it's just so adorable. So I am going to try and get these up into the shop in time for the shop reopening tomorrow. So this is what they'll look like. Just peel the back off and you can stick anywhere. It does not have to be in a bullet journal. It could be anywhere you want. Uh, and I've started working on this September 1. I probably won't release the digital versions of those until next week. Just because I've got a lot going on this week with the shop reopening getting ready for that, getting my life back together from being out of town. It's summer, the kids are all out of school, it's just a lot going on. And um, yeah, so if they are up by the time this vlog posts, then I will link them in the description box. But yeah, that's just what I've been working on. So right now I am going to try and put together a little blog post about my process for that. And I only have a couple minutes before I have to go get my twins up from their nap, but there's a huge thunderstorm rolling in right now and it looks kind of scary. I think I just got an alert on my phone um, for severe thunderstorm, so we'll see how that goes. Maybe I'll film a little bit of that for you if it does actually roll in. Sometimes it says it will and then just kind of goes right over us and rains on somebody else. So um, yeah, back to work. Hey guys, it's Monday. I am just in my office and um, I went to the gym this morning, came home, um, got the kids lunch, took a shower. Now they're all having quiet time, so I'm gonna take a minute to start printing orders and uh, working on some illustrations for some new releases coming up. 
Um, I'm doing a new character. His name is Raspberry and I sneaked him quite a while ago and you know, people seemed pretty receptive to him, um, which is good because he's super cute. I think he is anyways, but anyways, I wanted to have a boy character in the shop um, that people could use. He is pink. I mean, I love a guy in pink, but maybe not everyone does. But anyways, he is pink, so I thought, I mean, I thought it would be a good idea for him to be pink because a large majority of my clients and the people that buy my artwork are tend to be more on the they like their stuff more on the pink side, I guess is what I'm trying to say. So even though he's a boy character, um, he'll still match a lot of the stuff that people already have in their planners because most people tend to have a lot of pink. Um, I may also release him in just black and white as well for those who hate pink because there are those people too. Um, Anyways, I'm going to be working on that. I'll try and share some of my progress on those illustrations and um, what's going on with the printing today. Tomorrow I'll be cutting, which is not that interesting. I mean, that's going to be showing up in every studio vlog. and I'm going to try and limit how much of that I film because it's just boring and it takes a long time. So, I mean, vlogs on cutting days are probably going to be cut a lot shorter. Um, but anyways... Thank you for coming along with me, and I know this is going to be in the past for you when you see it, but I hope that you had a good Monday. Hey guys, I didn't film yesterday because I didn't really do a whole lot in my office itself yesterday. I did do a lot of drawing, which in retrospect, I probably should have filmed that. But um, today I am just finishing up a few last orders that didn't get done. And I am hopefully going to get to go through that new washi that I wanted to check on that I just received recently. Um, Cause I'm planning on getting that up in the shop um, next weekend and I'm hoping to get this studio vlog up um, by then. So I wanted to um, have you take you with me as I check the washi tape and make sure all is well. And yeah, I'm really excited to um, get this stuff into the shop because it's super cute and um, I'm kind of branching out and getting into more washi designing which is really exciting and I have a whole new set coming for fall which I'm really excited about. Um, it's almost done. There was a little error in the printing um, so they have to reprint the tape but um, it should still be here in time so it's exciting. So let's get going. for this last order so that I can show you the washi tape. I'm so excited to unwrap it and lay it out on some paper and see what we've got going on. So yeah, in a minute. All right guys, so the moment is here. I am going to uh, take a look at this new washi tape that I just got. I apologize if the lighting seems funky in this video because it's really cloudy outside and I get most of my light from the natural daylight and the clouds are coming in and out so it's going to be changing up. I apologize for that. Um, but anyways, I've got my, here's the first box of washi tape right here. And these, alright, so this one, um, let's see if we can see it. It's really pretty. It's a pink ombre with the silver sparkly hollow moons and stars. And I've actually released this one before and it sold out within like 24 hours. 
and I had quite a few people ask me if I would bring it back. So I didn't think it was going to happen um, just because of a situation I was having with how I got my washing made, but it ends up working out. Sorry, I was bending down to get into the other box because this is the other half of that. So there's a really pretty like black into gray and white ombre with the same moon pattern and the same foil. And so those two go together and I'll swatch both of those. Um, yeah, they turned out really good from what I can see. And then the next washi tape that I got was I uh, took that same pattern, but I did it in a really beautiful gold, kind of more of a fall end of summer vibe I was feeling. And this one is an ombre of like a really dark, almost black purple into like a light lavender. Um, it's really pretty. I'm going to, I can't wait to open that one. And then the one I got to go with that is down here. So this is going to be a set. And this one is that same thing. So the really pretty gold moon and stars. And then this is like a peachy pink that fades into a really pretty ivory. And so those two are going to go together as like a fall themed washi tape. And then I got this really cute, this is a like a mint and seafoam green that fades into an ombre uh, pink. And then on the, so then it has the cute little closed eyes and the smile, which is on a lot of my more kawaii style art. So that would be cute to be a washi tape that um, is a nod to that kind of design. And then there's um, gold foil um, flowers in between those. So that is cute. And the, I'm just really excited. The quality of these looks really good and I'm just excited. Um, this is, um, I'm sorry, I keep saying um, so much, and there goes my lighting. I'm in the dark now. Um, so this one is on um, this really pretty lavender color, and it's gonna be in a set with this mint green one. So this is a five millimeter, so these ones are a lot smaller. This is 15, and then these stars and moon ones are 10 millimeters wide. So yeah, these will be a set. These ones just have really pretty gold tiny bows on them. And then, yeah, I think that's it for this set of washi tape. Let me go ahead and swatch those and film that for you. And then we'll move on with the rest of our day.
right guys, I think that's gonna be it for this vlog. Thank you for joining me. I know these vlogs are still probably terrible. Um, they're jumping all over the place, but I'm learning as I go and I'm gonna try and get better. And the only way to get better is to keep trying. And there should be more frequent studio vlogs um, now that the summer is almost over and my kids will be back in school. Um, so I'll have a lot more dedicated studio time instead of sneaking in here whenever I get a few minutes to spare. Um, so that's it. Thanks for watching. If you liked this video, um, please give it a like and subscribe if you're interested. And um, comment below. You know what? What I would really like to like... <laughs> get my words out here. What I would really like to know is, do you love washi? And what designs would you like to see from me in future for washi and what seasons particularly do you want to see washi for like what seasons do you like to purchase washi for like for me i'm big into fall and spring washi um, but maybe you're into winter washi maybe we need to get some snowflakes going on so let me know in the comments below if you love washi and if there are any particular designs you like to see and like what seasons or color schemes you're more drawn to in that regard and i hope you are having a great week and that you have a great weekend um whatever your next weekend is for you when you see this and thank you for watching